Hello everybody, Wes Boss here. I thought I'd make a quick video explaining how I have my ESLint and Prettier set up with VS Code. Um, I've had some trouble with it in the past and I just asked on Twitter, I got some help from some people and I think that the misconfiguration comes because there's really a lot going on here. So first of all, I'm using ESLint to lint my code and tell me when I have specific uh, errors in the code. And then I'm using Prettier to fix the code. So like, for example, if I did have a space here or I'm using quotes, the double quotes, and then when I hit save, it will automatically fix it. It'll change that to single quotes and add the spaces for me properly. Or if I have some sloppy indentation and I give it a save, it will just re-indent it for me. So that's what's prettier is doing. Um, and I've configured my prettier through my ESLint file to, I guess, complicate or simplify things uh, a little bit more. Um, and then to, to take it one step further in VS Code, there is a default formatter in there, which I think is called Beautify.js, uh, which works great, but it's just not, it's not my settings that I need everywhere else. So uh, how did I get it all working after all the, there's tons of different options. So first things first is you don't need the prettier extension installed on VS Code if you're configuring it via ESLint. I'll say that again, don't need the Prettier extension installed. So if you go on here and you search for Prettier, there we go. So there's this one right here and I have it installed, but I don't have it enabled because um, this will this will do it for you. But if you have it configured by ESLint, which is what I do, then I also have the ESLint plugin installed. And what was happening is both of those were trying to fix my code <laughs> and uh, I was running to, into some issues. So no prettier plugin, yes to the ESLint plugin. And then let's head on over to my, uh, oh, let me show you in my ESLint how I have it. So first of all, the rules I extend via prettier and prettier React because I, I, I write some React. Um, and then I configure my prettier things like, uh, trailing comma, single quotes, and the print width. I configure that via uh, my ESLint file. Um, and then finally, the plugins. This is the part that auto fixes it. I use the e I use the Prettier plugin for ESLint. And that's why I don't need to care about the Prettier plugin for VS Code because I want to configure it via my ESLint. And that allows me to fix it via the command line. I can bring that to other computers. Uh, I can f fix it in my editor. If I switch to another editor for whatever reason, I don't need to reconfigure my editor. It's all done via my ESLint file. Um, then in my user settings, so there's all kinds of different save on file and, and save on whatever. Um, and really what you need is these ones right here. So first editor.format on save needs to be set to true and that will uh, trigger it to save on true. Um, and then what you need to do is only for JavaScript, you want to turn editor format on save to false. That way, if you are like the, the formatter that comes with it also formats your HTML and your CSS and you, you likely still want those. So you can just turn it off just for JavaScript. Um, and then I have ESLint auto fix on save to be true. And this, I always had this to be true yet. It wasn't automatically doing it on save until I did this little ditty up here. Um, and then I just have this always show status that just shows me in the corner here um, if everything is going well or not. So that's how I have it set up. I know that might not be the way that you have it set up, but um, I know quite a few, few people do and they're having some trouble with the, the perfect storm of VS Code prettier in ESLint. So hopefully that will help you out. Uh, happy to answer any questions you want. Just tweet me. I'm at Westboss. See ya.